what well, you asked me about how individual they are. Yeah. Tremendous in individuality. And I had a bird, we named it Sugar. I let my daughter Evelyn name all of them. And it had a white band on it. And she initially mm-hmm. named it Cauliflower, but it was so sweet that she changed it to Sugar. <laughs> I think it's a, a good change. I think, yeah, I think that was probably an improvement. <laughs> yeah. And it fit so well because this poll, this was the first one that hatched and it was early, yeah. ready to see me. You know what I yeah. mean? And it imprinted really strong on me. And I had one we named Strawberry, a red bracelet tag. Mm-hmm. When I came in and said hello, of course, everybody perks up. It's like, all right, mom's here. You know, like, yeah. all right, we're all excited to go forage. And Strawberry runs up to me and goes in full strut, like nose to nose with me. Oh, man, <laughs> Strawberry's going to be Strawberry's going to be a aggressive little bird. That's so it's funny. Like, I never would have expected that. Like I had one pulp grape. Grape. Had a perf- yeah. There's Strawberry a grape sugar. <laughs> Blueberry. Blueberry. Yeah. And lime. Lime. Yeah. So grape was kind of mischievous. <laughs> so grape would kind of sneak over. Grape also would try to get out. <laughs> and grape was a thief we steal like... stuff from everybody else and then i had lime who was my chatty kathy <laughs> if you pick up you know when i we, you have to weigh them all the time they don't yeah. like being picked up at all yeah even my mama like the, don't do that i don't like <laughs> it so uh lime would you know peep the loudest lime was constantly trilling which is basically their version of a purr yeah uh, when Lime saw something it, like new, they putted more. I think it is a he because it was strutting a lot. Lime would get super excited when they found a grasshopper or a, a mole cricket or something like that. It was really mm-hmm. good move. You'd hear the excitement, you know. That's so cool. You always know where Lime is because Lime is like the most vocal little thing compared to the other ones. Whereas somebody like Blueberry. Blueberry was the smallest poult, and blueberry is also kind of a loner because a lot of blueberry's meals got stolen, especially by mm. grape. Mm. But blueberry is kind of like silent and kind of hiding over here and, and was an excellent hunter. Would yeah. find a lot of really good stuff, but she didn't want anybody to know about it. Yeah. Right? She didn't want to be, she wanted Very to be secretive. at the end of the line, and she was secretive and didn't really express you know, vocalize that anything was going on. She was just trying to do it, but she would find like all the stuff all the time. You know, it was just, you know, really interesting. They're so different from one another. Sugar was my, my pretty girl. Like she was sweet. You really imprinted on me and foraged at my feet constantly. And, you know, just always was kind of keeping up with where I am, which was awesome. Also looks me in the eye constantly. You know, mm-hmm. I, when I'd kneel down occasionally, she'd fly up and perch on me or on my notepad or something, things like that, you know, showing affection, or at least that's the way it felt to me. Yeah. But also preened excessively in her pale, like her feathers and everything from like three days old on were noticeably perfect comparatively. Oh, wow. Like she was just immaculate. Yeah. And it continued. All the way till now. That's so interesting. Always preening and dusting. She's always spent a lot of time and care to make sure that everything was was kept prim and proper. Feathers are just perfect. She tucked in her wings perfectly. Like all her feathers were always nice and perfect and preened. And but I could always tell which one she was because of how much more perfect all all of her feathers Uh and everything were. It was just so prim and proper. It was funny for the first few days when they grew in their wing feathers, like looking at some of them, their wings just kind of like flop out to the side because they don't yeah. know that they have feathers yet. Is what yeah. it looks like. And they're just kind of, you know, it looks like a fish with its gills out, basically you know, walking <laughs> around foraging like that, but not sugar. Sugar was on point. Like, yeah. Like a little turkey and, and all her feathers were just perfect the whole time. You know, when I'm keeping up data, I can see that in the data, like we were keeping up every time they preen and every time they vocalize. And like, I could see these things emerging in the data 
that about their personalities and behavior that were individual. Mm-hmm. And her craning and dusting was substantially higher than everybody else's. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it was just it was fun, you know, learning these little things about them and seeing that and realizing that it has some implications for what we observe as hunters in the wild and all that. 